This is Social Buzz, where we shine a light on the thoughts and concerns of our online audience. Minister for Public Utilities and Transport, Nolan Cox, referring to requests by bus drivers for an increase in fares due to the increase in gas prices, said a study has to be done before any decision can be made. The whole issue of the bus, the, the, the increase in the bus fare, uh, we had uh, an engagement, we have an engagement with CDB and UNDP to help us with a market study and, and that will also give us a, come up with a mechanism for increasing bus prices. Our online audience give their opinions. Jodel commented, why can't the government of Grenada consider reducing the tax on fuel as this will not be sustainable for some citizens? It's not fair to the bus drivers with the price of gas to maintain the current bus fares. If bus drivers were to increase the bus fares, would this affect the affordability of bus fares for citizens who rely on public transportation? The government of Grenada claim they care about the citizens, but their actions say differently. Michelle commented, okay, so food price gone up, gas price gone up, electric bill gone up due to the gas price increase, and soon bus price may increase. So I'm still waiting for the higher ups to make mention of general salary increase because pretty soon we won't be able to survive out here. To some people, this may be a minor hiccup but they have to understand not everyone's salary is as big as theirs. Another individual commented, everything is going up. When will our salary go up? How will we survive if everything is going up and our salary remains one way? Just think about it. Some come out of St. Andrew and have to go to work in Grand Ants and work for $70 a day. How is that working out for them when the end of the month reach? Michaela wrote, I will not side with busmen to raise their costs. So far, that's a lot they're asking for. 50 cents may sound small, but I would have to pay $2 extra every day for me to go to work and $7 extra when school reopens for three children. That equals to $9 every day for bus. So, because government tax is $5.50, they must take a whole dollar to and from a destination from one person, multiplied by 17 persons on a bus. Think about the unemployed people who have children to go to school. All of us are in the heat. That's another way to make more money for bus owners. And Yosef commented, Instead of increasing the fees, why not offer the registered busmen concessions on fuel, like what they do with the fishermen? They pay full price at the pump and claim it back monthly from the government. Increasing the fees will put undue pressure on the workforce. That's it for tonight's Social Buzz. If you would like to have your thoughts and concerns shared, be sure to comment on GBN's Facebook page.